Let's make this cool garter stitch hat. Get your extra large loom and bulky yarn. Hey, it's Denise from LumaHat.com. For more information, visit the website. All right, guys, let's begin. First, secure your yarn to the anchor peg. I'm gonna use a simple knot. You can use a slip knot if you'd like. And then take your yarn between the first and last peg and we're gonna wrap every peg. Once you wrap all of your pegs, then we're gonna start with the U-wrap version of the knit stitch. So we're going to knit one row of the U-wrap. And to do this, you're going to half wrap each peg and then knit off. You half wrap and knit off. And just continue to do this until you've done all of your pegs. When you finish knitting all of your pegs, you're then done with the cast on and you're ready for row one where we're going to do a knit one, purl one pattern. Again, we're using the U-wrap version of the knit stitch. So we half wrap and knit off. And then after that, we're doing the purl stitch. So bring the working yarn down below the existing loop with your hook, scoop up the yarn and you're going to make a new loop right here, take the old one off, put the new one on and pull the yarn. All right, let's do that again. Remember your pattern is a knit one, purl one. So up close, here's the U-wrap knit stitch, half wrap, knit off, and then bring the working yarn down below the existing loop with your hook, scoop up that yarn, make a new loop Take off the old one and bring the new one onto your peg and pull your yarn. All you're gonna do is repeat those two stitches. You knit one and then you're going to purl one. This is called a rib stitch and what you're knitting at the moment is going to be your brim. If you have an odd number loom, then you're going to finish off with two pearls. All right, you finished row one. Remember to remove the knot from the anchor peg, and then you just need to do nine more rows. So here is row two and just keep knitting until you have 10 rows. When you finish doing your 10 rows of the knit one purl one, we will start with rows 11 through 12, which are two rows of the E-wrap knit stitch. To do this, first you're going to wrap all of your pegs. Then knit off all your pegs. When you're done with row 11 and you're ready for 12, all you're gonna do is the same thing. Wrap all of your pegs and when you're done, you'll knit off. When you're done with row 12, 
and you're ready for 13 it's simple enough all you're gonna do is purl the row and you guys are purl stitch experts When you're done with row 13, now all you're going to do is repeat rows 11 through 13 for your desired length. In my case, I did 10 more repeats for a total of 33 rows. This does not include the brim. And then to end, I did 2 more rows of the E-Wrap Knit Stitch. When you're finished with those 2 rows of knits, it's time to cast off. Take the working yarn and wrap it around the loom about... Mm, one and maybe a quarter. Then cut the working yarn. And then with your hook, if that's the tool you wanna use, scoop the yarn from the bottom up and feed it through every loop. So you take the hook from the top, scoop up the yarn and feed it completely through the loop. Now, personally, I like to use my needle instead same thing except you're going to come from the bottom and go upward. Continue until you've done every loop. Then take the loops off the loom. When you're done, pull on the drawstring to start closing your hat and then turn it inside out and you're going to sew those cast off loops in a circular manner. Sew and pull until you close the hat. If you're gonna add a pom-pom, take your drawstring back to the other side of the hat. 